Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as a DevOps engineer today. I'm going to show you how you can use the Ubuntu desktop and use multiple uh, user uh, sessions uh, with that. Although I've already made a video, a video with regard to the Ubuntu desktop, but the point here is that uh, you can use the Ubuntu desktop and uh, use the same machine and you can do uh, multiple RDB uh, session in that particular uh, particular machine with different user and each user uh, just like in windows has get uh, his own uh, separate rdb session why wanna use that let me show you uh, uh, please like and share this video and watch it till this end and the things is that uh, the point here i want to make uh, with regard to this video is that um, uh, it is going to be a uh, cost effective uh, let's say you deploy your server in amazon workspaces it is going to cost you more and it is almost uh, cost you nothing uh, let's see uh, i'm i'm going to select uh, let's launch the instance i'm going to select the ubuntu 18 lts uh, free tier and i'm going to use my script uh, uh, for this let's select this uh t2 medium i'm going to select okay and let's launch this in a vpc uh, okay uh, let's call this uh, ubuntu desktop i mean uh you can it is up to you uh you want to use the open uh, aws uh, workspaces or use my bash script so let's see uh, uh, what is best for you and i'm going to enable rdp uh, here for this purpose uh, okay, rdp session this is one i'm going to make it wide open you can uh, either for security purposes you can uh, uh, my ip do my ip as well okay I'm going to say <coughs> my IP. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, uh, let's say call this test. <coughs> I'm going to download this uh, test key pair and and what uh, I'm going to do is to SSH uh, into this uh, particular machine. Excuse me. So <coughs> okay, launch the instance, and uh, I'm going to SSH into this machine. Till then, I'm going to pause the video, and will I will be back in a few moments. So, guys, the uh, machine is uh, almost initialized. Uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, is to grab the public IP of this machine and I'm going to SSH into this machine. Let me open the terminal. Okay, I'm going to SSH. I'm going to use this test dot pam. Let me see it into the desktop as well. Okay, so let me use this test and I'm going to uh, SSH into this machine okay so mm, I'm going to be sudo hyphenai okay so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna create on script desktop dot SSH uh, for Ubuntu user I'm going to create a desktop this is a script and you have to simply copy the script and the url of the script is this i'm going to also uh, provide this in um, in my video link as well so uh, let me show you that this is for the uh, user ubuntu and it will ask for the <coughs> excuse me it will ask for the uh, password as well so uh, just a minute excuse me 
so <clears throat> let me i was in the wrong place let's talk so this is the script and i'm going to provide you the url this is for the ubuntu user if you see uh, this is the home uh, of ubuntu so <clears throat> if uh, okay i'm going to paste this uh, same thing here and okay i've copied the wrong one okay let me quit as well i'm going to copy this script okay it is for the ubuntu user okay so let me paste this and i will uh, make it executable script ubuntu uh, okay. is for the desktop so i'm going to run it so uh, it will uh, download some software some packages uh, after that it will uh, it will uh, hardly take five to six minutes and then it will ask for the uh, user password uh, i will uh, provide any password till then uh, i'm going to pause the video or let's say we will wait till then uh, what i'm going to show you uh, i'm going to create uh, i'm i'm going to take one more session and i'm going to create one more user so in the same machine so okay let it run i thought that would be the good idea to instead of uh, pausing the video i'm going to show you what is the next step so let's do that so uh, i'm in that machine uh, okay let's call this okay keep the current and local version okay and uh, would you like to okay so while it's uh, updating and downloading i'm going to create one mu uh, one user i'm going to add user add uh, one more user awesome but make sure that uh, you should use the user with the home directory user add uh, port the hyphen m for user directory it will create the user directory in the home as well so and let me show you the home as well in uh, home you see awesome uh, folder is also created so i'm going to uh, add the password for awesome as well and the password is awesome and password is awesome so user uh, is successfully added till now our script is uh, asking for the password for the ubuntu password let me give this ubuntu as well ubuntu as well so yes download these packages as well so uh, till then uh, what i'm going to do is to wait just a while and i want to show you guys let the script run see it hardly take about um, about uh, five to eight minutes uh, uh, while all the packages are ready uh, why i've viewed it uh, i've uh, added one more user uh, because uh, i'm going to show you how multiple users uh, will have uh, their own separate rdb session and um, for the i guess it is very effective for the development teams if uh, or organization or uh, if you guys um, working in a team uh, and it is the most cost effective way 
I personally uh, think that instead of using the AWS uh, workspaces, you can uh, control uh, the code and uh, in a way that uh, your developer should be on the same machine and uh, work as a team. So uh, multiple uh, developers will be added. Uh, let's say I will uh, add, or add one more user, user add iPhone am Kasim. So we have three users. Let me and password for Kasim is let's say Kasim. Okay. If I show you the home directory, you will see Ubuntu user, Asim user, and Kasim user. So we are uh, done almost, and. Uh, Okay, so for uh, Ubuntu, uh, okay, what I'm gonna do is uh, let's say uh, open the desktop script again and I'm going to uh, replace the Ubuntu user percent as uh, Ubuntu with Asim globally. So you see, uh, I need desktop session for the asim user as well i'm going to run The script now this script will not take uh, that all much time i mean um, it will be available so the passport for awesome is awesome so it's done okay so same thing i'm gonna i'm gonna use the same script uh, i'm gonna replace the name let's say percent s I'm going to replace Asim with Kasim user globally, and that's it. So, and I'm going to rerun the script uh, again. So, it will ask for the Kasim user password as packages are already uh, installed. So, Kasim is the password for the Kasim user, and I'm going to simply uh, reboot the machine now. Shut down hyphen reboot now. So definitely IP is going to be changed. Let's see uh, what is the new IP or it might not be if you use the command line. It will take a while. Okay. And because I've re rebooted the machine. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, is, is it available or not? I'm definitely I'm not going to take the SSH session or not interested in the SSH session I'm okay it's up uh, so I'm now interested in the RDP session so okay I'm going to RDP the machine and what I'm gonna do is to take the IP address of this machine uh, Okay, yes. So it will uh, ask for a username and password user is Ubuntu. Password as Ubuntu for Ubuntu, I guess. So we are in the machine. As far as the packages, how to install packages update, you can see this video. This video is about a detailed video. So this video is only with regard to the multiple sessions. So I have uh, SSH uh, into the machine with the Ubuntu user and I'm going to take a separate session. So um, let me open a session uh, for user awesome now. 
uh, also I'm going to show you how uh, it is different. Uh, awesome is different than Ubuntu. So uh, I'm in the machine with the awesome user. Okay. So, okay. So uh, let me, uh, first of all, uh, okay, let's stay open terminal here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sudo uh, apt uh, install hyphen by Firefox, Firefox. So once it's done, <laughs> I'm going to open uh, one page in the in that particular Firefox, okay? And uh, okay, if I go to the application and go to the internet and uh, open the Firefox, mark it executable and open it okay so uh, let me browse uh, one website uh, i'm in the as you guys knows i am in the i am the ubuntu session uh, ubuntu user okay so i'm going to open one uh, website Okay, this is the website I'm maintaining for quite some time now. So, okay, see, uh, the Ubuntu user uh, has got a separate session, and uh, if I open the uh, session for Asim. Uh, and the point uh, here I want to make is that um, both uh, sessions are separate. So, <laughs> you can, you see, uh, same machine, same IP, separate users. So, and we have a separate session in the same machine. You can add as many users as you want uh, in that particular machine. Let me also uh, um, log in with the user custom as well. If your machine is powerful, then definitely uh, uh, more session are not a problem so this is the way guys you can uh, use uh, multiple session for free i mean there is no need for multiple desktop you see i have multiple sessions multiple rdb session you can do even ssh as well uh, in, because it although it is a uh, open to desktop so you can use the ssh session as well so uh, thank you guys if you like this video please like and share because this is a very effective way to uh, i guess uh, uh, i personally feel is that to get rid of uh, remote uh, workspaces i mean uh, because of the cost lots of people uh, are uh, are complaining about the high cost uh, they have to pay like uh, they have to use the simple ad or the for AWS workspaces and it is uh, this is uh, totally uh, free. I mean, you have to run my bash script and that's it. If you like this video, please like, share and subs subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.